<laughs> Thanks for watching the SAP Global Partner Summit 2018 live from Orlando, Florida. My name is Ramon Ray, editor of Smart Hustle Magazine with Sabrina. Sabrina, thanks for being here today. Thank you. You're welcome. So Sabrina, why don't you give us your full name? I know you're with Blue Marble Consulting. Uh, tell us what you do at Blue Marble and uh, give us your full name. Sabrina Sigourney. Okay, great. And I'm CEO and President of Blue Marble. Awesome. And what does Blue Marble Consulting do? I have a guess, but I'd rather let you tell me. Okay, well, since 2001, we have enabled almost 100 end customers onto SAP Solution okay. with a 100% reference rate. So that really makes us proud. We are a boutique reseller of SAP s hana Enterprise Management, okay. uh, SAP Business Objects for Analytics and Success Factors, along with some others. Um, we license, we implement, we enable, we train. Uh, we do it all. We try to do it all, and we've got a really awesome, unique post-production AMS support model as okay. well. Um, and our mission, our purpose, is to make SAP simple for our customers. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and let them focus on doing their business. Awesome. Thank I you. love stories. I love stories. Okay. And I think that sometimes we get into the technology, yes. and we forget that the technology is here to help a business do something. Yes. You know, whether it's saving lives or just doing whatever it is. Yeah. Let's talk about it. I know one of your clients is the Wildlife Cons Conservation Society. Yeah. I love their society. I go to the Bronx Zoo, oh. uh, and I think they're a, the Bronx Zoo is a member yes. of them or something like that. Yes. What did you all do for them? How did you help their business grow? What was that, what was that yep. story about? Yep, so they, um, we met them after they went live with another partner. Okay. Um, so they needed help optimizing their public sector requirements. Um, so Blue Marble came in, we assessed the situation, we gave them a roadmap for immediate quick wins and long-term optimization. Um, wildlife is, um, you know, they're dedicated, like you said, to saving animals, yeah. saving habitat, so we want them to run efficiently right. and run their system uh, uh, effectively right, so right. they don't have to worry about um, their true mission, right? They yeah. can focus on Absolutely. their true mission. Yeah. And that's, I think, what business is about. I think as consultants, those the partners in this room, I think if we're not helping our customers yep. focus on what they do best, yep. we're not doing our job. Is yep. that fair? Yep. Yeah. And at Blue Marble, we take a unique kind of disruptive approach. We call it care okay. because we care about our customers. Right. Um, and so care, so collaborative, accountable, responsive enablement is our acronym for how we work with our customers. So like even that. if it's a brand new implementation, or like wildlife where it was post-production support, um, that's how we work. So it's a lot of transparency, and you know everyone knows who should be doing what, when, where, why, and how, right. and it just drives in um, you know, knowledge transfer and ownership of the system. Right. So we're not trying to camp out there and, and sit on their site and charge them lots and lots right. of right. dollars, we want them to be self-sufficient, and we've got their back. Yeah, amazing. And I think one of the things, correct me if I'm wrong, is that you all like taking legacy implementations. As you kind of mentioned with wildlife, people have the software, they have SAP, but they're growing, needs change. It seems like that's one specialization. You all come in and tweak that or make it better. Can you talk about that? Am I accurate in that? Yeah, so exactly. So we want to make sure, you know, you can't put lipstick on a pig. Yeah. So we want to make sure that the core SAP solution is running effectively. And, um, and that's what we do. So we want to make sure whether it's master data governance, it's security, if a new hire comes on board, do they have the tools to immediately use the new SAP system or, you know, or not. Yeah. So we often find that um, you know, if you're not working with a partner, we often find that old habits or bad habits evolve. Absolutely. So we want to make sure the system's optimal and also that they even achieve their original return on the investment, right? Before and they that's can important. People are going to be frustrated, <laughs> yeah. they're going to be angry, yeah. the yeah. CEO's going to be, yeah. I won't use a word, ups, uh, aggravated. Yes, <laughs> it's yes. It's not a good scenario. Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, before we can get them on the road to like future transformation and s hana migration and additional SAP products, we really want to make sure that they are happy with what they originally purchased and it's running optimal. Right. So we can come in and do that really efficiently. Awesome. And, and that's what we love to do. And I'm curious, are there any things that you're talking to customers in general? Any, and again, this is a big question. It's a small question, a big issue. But any best practices, Ramon? Here's the two or three things we see always to improve that people are doing wrong as they're looking at what's wrong in their implementation, if, if you understand. Is there anything you can tell us in 10 seconds? Like, uh. here's the big anchors that we're finding, anything like that? We do find the same pitfalls, sadly. And so that's why, um, you know, and I mentioned a little bit master data, the security, the okay. reporting needs, the, the, overall, the overall enablement, right? Because oftentimes the organization doesn't see the whole big picture. They're just yes. seeing little pieces and parts. Yes. We're able to help assess the full picture and make sure that then they can, you know, have the tools to do their, to do their purpose, right? right? right. Um, and that's, that's something that's easy for us to do. And then we can talk about future innovations. 
Absolutely. Yeah. I know one of the other customers that you helped and work with, and again, people have a mission, is All Birds. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to know what is All Birds, and then it seems like you guys implemented 16 weeks, yeah. where otherwise it takes a lot longer. Yeah. How does that help them, their mission? Talk to us about that. Yeah, crazy. Um, so S for HANA is what we believe. S for HANA for everybody. Yeah. So this was a lower general business account, so small startup okay. from QuickBooks. Okay. We did the implementation, as you mentioned, 16 weeks on time, on budget. It's a big deal, on it time and big. on budget. That's so. how we like to roll. Okay. 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 I like that. Right. I like right. That way too. Keep okay. SAP simple, okay. and um, you know, look, implementations are a necessary evil, right? And they're not easy because they're about people, and um, and but it's, so to us, we have to focus on the process. Right. We mentioned earlier the products are pretty darn good, yeah. right? So I'm not worried about the system. I know I the you. system can work for all of these customers, um, but how do we get them on the system and enabled? How do we make that happen, right? And so that's where Blue Marble, we like to take a Simple approach, streamlined approach, and so we actually have a little acronym just to keep everyone honest about simple. So stakeholder okay. alignment, okay. Uh, iterative testing, okay. not the waterfall where Got it's it. a little too late, okay. Migration to hopefully best practices, although to be honest with you, it never always fits right out of the box. Right, We've right. got to be planning for risk management contingency. Absolutely. We can address that, okay. Uh, let's see, P, prepping the data, so cleansing, uh, mapping, Converting, testing with the converting right. data, right? Leading L, leading the team meetings on a high frequency. So I'll tell you about, about that in a second. And then enablement, um, making sure everyone knows who's doing what, when, right. where, right. why, and how. So for example, at Allbirds, we would meet uh, with the consulting team in the morning. Right. Then we would meet with the customer and we would start every meeting. Today is week six, day two. Right. You know, and this is what we're doing. And so this um, collaboration approach we take, it's full transparency. Um, you can see if anyone's doing the right thing, if anyone's doing the wrong right. thing, you get instant real-time updates, right? In this, mm -hmm. in this world nowadays, nowadays right. right, we take a disruptive approach, yeah. really, I think, to implementation. And it seems like you guys are keeping the end result in mind, which is how you're able to uh, go to speed. And by the way, what is all birds, oh, a startup, you said that, right? Yeah, they're a startup, yep, yep. Um, they uh, retail making better shoes in a better way. Nice. Uh, San Francisco-based company. Um, and you know, had great have great ambitions to grow. So we wanted to make sure with S for Hana that they had a fully scalable system Got that it. they'll never outgrow. So at Blue Marble, we really believe in uh, giving our customers the best technology. Yeah. But we've got to be able to deliver it. They've yeah. got to be able to digest it because you can't just sell the licenses and just be. Absolutely. You've got to have a success story, and that's our mission. That's our purpose. Is right. we want more success stories. And let's, uh, listen, there's a lot of partners around us here at the Partner Summit here in Orlando, Florida. Yeah. Um, what is your message to other partners, possibly your competitors? My point is, my question is, what are you doing right? What can they learn from Blue Marble? I'm not telling Florida? my competitors. Well, you can <laughs> tell a little bit. <laughs> in general, what are they doing right? I think, um, you what know. What are you doing I, right I, that they can learn from? Um, I really think it's, uh, our mission is, um, you know, look, we're a boutique. Sure. We're, we're big enough to know better. Specialize in right what you do. Yeah, and, and small enough to really care. So our, you know, we wake up every day with our sleeves rolled up and say, what can we do for our customers mm -hmm. today, right? So our, the way we roll, we don't have billboards. Mm -hmm. When you fly out, you're not going to see yeah, any I didn't see marble any. billboards. <laughs> yeah, we don't have those. So what we want is more customer success stories. So, so you know, before profits, before anything else, it's about simplifying SAP so our customers can have the best experience possible. So we do the best we can, we're not perfect, but we try really hard to cut any red tape, um, you know, just streamline the process. We try to have very adult conversations, uh, sometimes on the weekends during delivery. Yep. You know, it's not easy because it's really about the people in the process, right? right? You have to have a developed relationship yes. with these people and hopefully, you know, there are customers for life. We're and I've very heard grateful. relationship quite a bit of times during this discussion. And it seems like you're also the ideal SAP customer as well. But Sabrina, this has been great. Um, listen, I really appreciate it. One more time, Blue Marble Consulting, where yeah. are you guys based at again? Uh, Big Sky, Montana, but we're all over the U.S. Love and it. Canada. Thank you, Sabrina, so much. And again, this is the SAP Global Partner Summit 2018, mm -hmm. live from Orlando, Florida.